Brandon Bean told us a story about during your visit with the team, how you met Tredavious White, and that is someone you were interested in learning how he became the player he was. What, what can you tell us about your interactions with Trey and, and maybe what you had before your knowledge of his game before meeting him and then what you learned uh, after that visit? Um, honestly, he just told me um, how much um, he watched my game and how, how he, he liked the way I played. And you know, I just try to pick his brain and, and try to learn as much as I can from him in the short amount of time we had. But um, you know, I'm, I'm you know I'm super happy I, I got to meet him because he, he seemed like a super laid back guy, super you know uh, knowledgeable, you know, and a guy who I could just who I feel like I could just go and try to learn from. Appreciate it. Welcome to town, man. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kira Mapo Bay from Channel Seven in Buffalo. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Of course. Hey, so before we ask you a question, do you mind telling us exactly how to pronounce your name so we know for when we say your name for the rest of the night? Yes, it's Kair Elam. Okay, beautiful. I think that's what yeah. we've all been saying. But, Kair, you yeah, know, Kair Elam, yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, thank you for doing that. It's like, so, it's, like it's too, too pronounced. Uh, it's Kai, like Kai, K-A-I, and then it's yeah. ear, like, like to go in Spanish. Okay, good. I like that you're telling us that so we don't have to guess. But you get drafted by the Bills, and we see the video that's shared on social media of you and your family just going nuts. What's your initial reaction when the moment finally happens? You no, know, um, I was just so grateful, man. I was just so grateful, man, because, you know, when I once I once I got to Buffalo and did my visit, you know, I just felt it felt something special. I just felt something special, man. I, don't, I ain't know what it, what it was. I didn't know what it, what it could be, but I just felt something special, you know. I feel like it was an environment I could go in and, and, and try to compete and learn as much as I can and just happen to uh, try to have an immediate impact right away, you know? And, um, you know, I think it was just a sign of relief, I would say, you know, because, you know, I honestly, I strive to be the best. And um, tonight, um, I wasn't the first defensive player to select it, but, you know, I think it's full to the fire. And, you know, I think it's going to bring out another edge, edge to my game. Kyrie Elam, Wookie Hawkins, Waffle Sports and Andy, man, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate you. No doubt. Um, so when did you notice the Bills on your radar, and how excited are you to be drafted by a Super Bowl contender? Um, I'm, it's a blessing, man. You know what I'm saying? I, God works in. God's awesome, man. Um, I would just say, you saw how excited am I? I'm super excited, man. I'm super excited to go to work. I told him to put the playbook on the on the plane, man. I'm trying to learn as much as I can right away and just, just get better and, and contribute to the team and have a try to strive for immediate impact right away, you know. When did you uh recognize that the Bills were on the radar? Um, I would say after my after my visit. After my visit, I was like, Yeah, they they're super interested in me, you know, super interested in me. Can't wait to see you, man. Safe travels. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Kair, how are you? Sal Capaccio, WGR Radio and Bill Sideline Reporter. Congratulations. Welcome to Buffalo. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited, man. So excited <laughs> to be here. First of all, where are you right now? Where did you enjoy this draft process and being drafted? So I'm in Juno Beach right now. I'm a family friend's house, a family friend's home. Uh, pretty big home, man. So, yeah, that's where I am. Speaking of family and friends, you have bloodlines in the NFL. Your dad played in the NFL. Your uncle played in the NFL. How much of an influence have they been on your life to get to this moment? My uncle and my dad, you know, I think I, it's a blessing to them in my life because I get to learn from the mistakes they made and the things they didn't know when I was my age. So it allowed me to mature a lot more faster than a lot of people my age, I would say. And, um, you know, I'm just so grateful for them to be in my life because they're, they're guys who tell me what not what I want to hear, but what I need to hear and can critique me. So... You know, uh, my dad, Abram Elam, and Matt, and my uncle, Matt Elam, you know, they are uh, very essential in my life, and I'm forever grateful. Congratulations again. Safe travels to Buffalo when you come up. Thank you. I appreciate it. I can't wait to get back. Hi, Kair. Uh, John Worrell with the Associated Press. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, when it comes to, sorry, somebody starting their car here. I'm out here in the parking lot. Uh, but when it comes, knowing that you get, to play alongside Trey White and asking the questions you did about what makes him so special that Brandon Bean told us about. Um, what what about that possibility and, and the opportunity that you have there? 
you know, I'm 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 coming in to 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 compete. You know, what I'm saying nothing's. I don't I don't think anything's gonna be given to me, but the ability to play, um, to learn from Trey White and the other guys in the secondary is something you know I I look forward to. You know, what I'm saying pick their brains and try to learn as much as I can, but also on the field, really super duper. Uh, I want to I want to compete right away, right away, man, for everything, and I just want to prove, you know, that you know I'll have an immediate impact right away, and I, um that you know. Strives to win the Super Bowl. I'm gonna strive to win the Super Bowl, man. What was that meeting like with Trey? When uh, I guess you, uh, you you got a chance to meet him. Yeah, he was just what told was that me like? he, it was amazing, man. It, uh, it was a blessing, man. He just told me how, how much he admired my game and um, he loved he loved um, you know my game and you know he said if I had any had any any um, questions or anything he wanted me to I wanted to know he just just hit him up. Man. So I still have his number. Um, I hit him up as soon as soon as he told me that and. You know, I try to pick his brain and learn as much as I can right away. You know. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Kair. Uh, congratulations. Um, Brandon told us the story. I think uh, a few reporters alluded to it, uh, that at the end of your lunch with them, you asked, you know, what about your game uh, needs better? What about Trey makes him so great? What, what did they tell you, and what did you learn from those conversations? <laughs> Man, they just, I mean, they honestly, they just told me, um, I just got to stay consistent, stay with the same mindset I had, you know, just trying to develop and get better each and every day, ch chase self-improvement on a daily basis. You know, um, uh, I just, I feel like um, they felt like I was one of the best corners in the country, and um, I felt the same way, but they just, they, they just critiqued me and all the, they, I think they just told me all the things I needed to critique, get better at, and, you know, I was really receptive and really, to, I'm gonna I'm definitely imply it to my game, and you know, um, you know, I'm gonna just, just go we'll prove, go we'll prove it, and strive to win the Super Bowl. And obviously, it's no secret, uh, you know, your speed really makes you stand out. How does that speed translate on the field when you're playing? Um, I just, I really believe that you know, speed is very essential to being a, a great corner. And, you know, that's something I strive to be each and every day. Um, but running to the ball. You know, being able to uh, make a mistake and recover, um, and, and also just instincts as well. If you want to make a play, I think that's really that's where speed really stands out. Thanks, Kyrie. Thank you. Hi, Kyrie. Adam Benini with the WGRZ. Just, um, I wanted to ask you more about uh, the opportunity and the, the caliber of the team and the caliber of the defense that that you're joining. How close they are. To, to getting over the top. And again, you've talked about this, a lot of the skills you bring to the table, but how ready you think you are uh, to contribute at this level in the midst of all of that? Man, I'm super ecstatic, man. I've just been working, like, this whole process, like, in between visits and all my meeting at Buffalo and all my other visits and stuff, I, I was I was, I was, was getting working, getting prepared for, you know, my, my opportunity, whatever, whenever it came. So, you know, I'm super ecstatic, man. I'm super just to go out there and, and compete, you know what I'm saying, and show and prove to everybody, you know, I can have an immediate impact in this league, and, and uh, I'm sure I will, but, you know, I'm just I'm just ready to work. Thank you. Thank you. That'll do it for questions tonight. Thank you, Kair, and congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.